Oke, okay, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hari ini saya ingin membentangkan tentang uh, tutorial satu retaining wall, iaitu uh, tembok penahan yang diketuai oleh saya sendiri, Muhammad Azaikal bin Hasmadi untuk subjek construction teknologi tiga dan kodnya adalah DDWQ2173 uh, dan ini adalah saya punya lecturer name ataupun nama pesyarah iaitu Puan Rafiza binti Muhammad so sebelum saya ingin membentangkan pembentangan saya saya akan tunjukkan gambar retaining wall ataupun tembok penahan yang saya ambil di sekitar rumah saya so ini adalah jenis-jenis retaining wall kita ada counter fort retaining wall, creep retaining wall, concrete panel retaining wall, cantilever retaining wall and lastly is block retaining wall. So, ini adalah gambar counter fort retaining wall yang saya ambil uh, di sekitar projek uh, ayah saya. And then ini adalah counter fort retaining wall. So, apa itu counter fort retaining wall? Okay, the definition of counter fault retaining wall adalah are similar to the cantilever walls except they have a vertical concrete webs at the regular intervals along the back side of the wall. And it also tie the slab and base together with the purpose of them to reduce the shear forces and bending the moments, moments of impose and the wall by soil. And also affected to increase the weight of the wall from added to the concrete can be precast or formed on the side. And lastly, counterfort retaining the walls are more economical than the cantilever walls for the height above 35 feet. We go to the next slide. This is the part of the counterfort retaining wall. We have a stem, toe slab, heel slab, and also counterfort. And then we go to the next slide is the parts of the counterfort retaining wall stem to slab his slab and counterfort so this is the part of the counterfort retaining wall so the stem stem is the continuous slab and it will act and soil pressure acts as the load on the slab and also the earth pressure varies linearly between the counterforts then the slab deflect away from the earth face and then the bending moment in the stem is maximum and reduce the towards of the top The advantages of the counterfort retaining wall is these walls are more economical to tie and vertical wall with the heel slab by the counterfort. Support the vertical walls. This wall acts as a tension member. The wall will reduce the bending moment and support the heel of slab. By the weight of the earth and self weight stability is maintained. From 6 meter to 8 meter, this wall higher in the range. The walls are more widely used because it is hidden beneath and retain the material. And lastly, for more efficiency, the walls have a clean and uncluttered face. The parts of the counterforce retaining wall is toe slab. The base is to support the projection of the base along the length of the toe slab. Reinforcement are provided on the earth and also front counterfort to support the slab and the toe slab projection is large. To end upward of the soil reaction, toe slab are being provided and to fix it to front face of the stem. Maksudnya slab ini, toe slab ni dia diberikan dan dia juga dia dibetulkan dan diletakkan di hadapan muka stem tersebut pada parts of the counterfort retaining wall. And then we go to the next slide. The parts of the counterfort retaining wall is heel slab. Are playing a role model in slab spanning over the counterfort. The heel slab can weight all of the soil and self weight of the slab and it subjected downward forces. Parts of the counterfort retaining wall is from the counterfort are subjected to outward reaction to produce a tension along the outer sloping face of the counterfort. It is designed as a T beam which is varying depth due to the inner face to support the uh, to support the stem in the compression at the both end. Maksudnya Uh, designer berbentuk T-beam dan dia boleh menyokong uh, tekanan di antara kedua-duanya di bahagian counterforts and then 
we go to the creep retaining wall this is the picture that i took area in my house the creep retaining wall is a wall or the creep retaining wall is the one of the oldest type of retaining wall it is consists a creep or cell made from the timber concrete plastic or fiber the creep or interlock areas are filled with the free drain and materials on the earth to feel eliminating the hydrostatic pressure the lastly is creep retaining will will also uh, enabling free escape of water through the drainage maksudnya creep retaining wall ni boleh membenarkan air itu disalirkan melalui uh, saliran longkang iaitu drainage kemudian kita tengok pada parts of the creep retaining wall creep retaining walls are a form of the gravity they are constructed in the interlocking individual box made from the timber and precast concrete The box are filled with the crushed stone and the other coarse granular materials to create a free. And the lastly is the basic type of the creep retaining wall include the reinforced precast and timber retaining wall. We go to the next slide. This is the parts of the creep retaining wall. Drainage is uh, to relate the geotextile that includes the transmission of the liquid in the plant of the fabric without the soil loose and to allow the water going out from being overflow in the drainage system maksudnya saliran longkang ni dia membenarkan air tu keluar daripada sistem saliran supaya tidak berlakunya uh, overflow water dan juga dia sangat relate dengan uh, geotextile iaitu kita ada non woven dengan woven yang relate dengan liquid dalam plain tu And then we go to the next slide. This is the picture of the concrete panel retaining wall. The concrete panel retaining wall can be defined as the perfect solution to control erosion to eliminate the hard to move slope and also to add a planting bed or, or to level up the idea of the pesho area. This system are easy to install durable reasonably price. Uh, maksudnya sistem ni dia sangat uh, sangat bagus dan harganya berpatutan dan mudah untuk dikendalikan menggunakan sistem concrete uh, panel retaining system available in a variety of the color and texture concrete uh, panel retaining wall ni dia mempunyai pelbagai color dan juga texture and a cinder block is only as straight and as solid as the base is built on dan terdapat juga pada concrete panel retaining wall ni a cinder block yang hanya uh, berbentuk lurus dan dia bersifat perpejal setelah kita bina concrete panel retaining wall the parts of the concrete panel retaining wall are vibrated concrete structure for the retaining soil they are made up for the line of the full height modular panel the side facing of the soil is indoor which one with the one or the more vertical stiffening ribs that from the base to the top of wall uh, and then can be placed the foundation of the precast of varying the size that has been laid before the hand and the two elements are entered through the concrete pour maksudnya dua elemen tu akan dikeluarkan ataupun akan relate dengan concrete pour semasa penuangan concrete uh, this is the part of the panel retaining wall continue eh this is the continue from the part concrete panel retaining wall this is a drainage drainage function is related to geotextile and allow water going out from the being overflow in the drainage system And then we go to the cantilever retaining wall. This is the picture that I took. And then this is the cantilever retaining wall of definition. To construct the reinforced concrete and to consist the relatively thin stem of base slab and the base also divided in two parts which is the heel and toe slab use much less concrete than monolithic gravity walls but it require more design and careful constructions. The retaining wall is a structure that will retain and usually earth and it prevent from the sliding or eroding away. It is designed so that to resist the material pressure of the material that it holding back. And then we go to the parts of cantilever retaining wall stem. It is the vertical upright portion of the cantilever wall to support the restraint of the lateral confinement. Two slab is the base footing that embedded to the soil and outside of the part of the wall which is the soil mass has not been retained and then we go to the heel slab heel slab is uh, also a base footing embedded 
but it is actually the soil mass that to retain and increase the safe weight of the wall. The lastly is drainage function are to relate geotextile and the liquid in the plant of the fabric without soil loose will allow the water to going out from the drainage system from being overflow. And then we go to the block retaining wall. This is the picture that I took at Laborayus Kudai Pontian. And this is the block retaining wall of definitions. Uh, it is a structure that holds of the retained soil behind it. There are many types of the materials that can be used to create retaining walls like the concrete block, pour the concrete, uh, treated the timber, rocks or the boulders. And also, it may have a shorter lifespan but all can retain the soil. This is the part of the block retaining wall. Standard concrete blocks have been measured based on their length, width and height that have been measured by engineer. The cells are vital stability and should be filled with concrete and also when the wall is completed. Retaining wall are made from the standard block and, and can stand alone. Retaining wall are usually covered with an attractive veneer stone, brick and decorative masonry. Split face block split face block are being used both as a decorative structural unit of applying the veneers. We go to the next slide. So this is the my end of the presentation. So I hope you guys uh, and Madam Rafiza can listen my voice clearly and thank you for listening for my presentation. Thank you so much.